Hi YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. I'm just getting in the mood right by lighting my favorite candle from Bath & Body Works. And yeah, we're gonna get straight into my detangler routine. Here are the products that I use. I have my conditioner, oil, and wash bottle. Here's my detangling brush, a bunch of clips, and a mixing bowl. Let's get into it. So guys, I was super upset. I thought that I had begun recording when I um, started mixing up my concoction, but apparently I wasn't. And so we're gonna talk through this. I just put in that mixing bowl um, conditioner, the Aussie conditioner I showed you earlier with some olive oil and my My L mint oil as well. And then I mixed everything up. I am so sorry, guys these are things that happen right I thought I was recording and I clearly wasn't recording but yeah I just mix it up and mix put them all together in a bowl and mix it up and yeah I decided to dance to like cheer myself up but yeah once you have your content in the bowl you just mix it up I really didn't measure them at all I just really eyeball it but the consistency I went for was like a medium thick consistency like I didn't want it to be overly thick like I still wanted it to have some slip to it um the reason why I added oil to the conditioner is that I find that with my 4c hair it conditions my hair um as I detangle it and so sometimes just using a conditioner can not be as moisturizing but I find that when I add an oil like it really just helps my hair um, to feel softer and it's easier to get rid of any tangles as y'all can see my hair is dry y'all I had it in the puff for quite some time and so yeah we're going to begin the process now and part of the process includes taking a dance break you know you have to put yourself in the right mood like create the right vibes right <laughs> Yeah, so allow me to dance and cheer myself up. Next, <laughs> we have this Myel Pre-Poo Shampoo Treatment that I was gonna try for the first time. I just wanted to quickly show it to you guys. So yeah, bam. Now I just grabbed my spray bottle and began to mist my hair with um, the water. It was literally just warm water in the spray bottle. I was so upset because I have um, this mist bottle from um, Amazon and I couldn't find it and so I had to use this wacky spray bottle. But yeah, I always start off detangling my hair by making sure that my hair is drenched. Like, not soaking wet, but wet enough. And I never do anything to my hair without first making sure that it has some type of water because I'm not trying to break my hair. Like, I'm trying to be as gentle with it as possible. And with the amount of, like, tangles I had in my hair, like, I had to, matter, um, to wet it first. There was no way that I could have done anything to my hair without first giving it some water. My hair was thirsty, y'all. So right now what I was doing was I was trying to section my hair um, with the state that my hair was in it would have been impossible for me to part my hair with a comb and so I was just using my fingers to make a part and section my hair and you will see me use the spray bottle a lot because I needed water in my hair my hair was really really thirsty you guys and there's no way you could possibly detangle your hair without water I hope you guys know that I hope y'all don't detangle your hair without water because if you are I'm kind of side-eyeing you you probably shouldn't but yeah so my hair is in four sections now and so I'm going to begin um, the first section in front just to show you guys and you're gonna see me work in smaller sections so I'm just gonna part um, a section of the first section I had clipped away and yeah I'm gonna show you guys how I use the concoction I made and detangle my hair <laughs> So again, I re 
wet dissection. Guys, I have high porosity hair, and so my hair requires a lot more water to get wet. Um, it's harder for water to enter my hair shafts again, so you will see me wet my hair a lot. Right now, I'm just finger detangling my hair and mixing up my um, concoction. Um, I spread the concoction through my hair and I finger detangle gently. It might look, I'm being, look like I'm being a little harsh, but I was really trying to feel for any snags and tangles before we go in with my brush. So yeah, you will see me running my hands through my hair a lot and you know, gently removing any tangles as I feel them. There is a shed of hair that was caught up in between my hair strands. So yeah, finger detangling just really helps you um, gently remove any shedded hairs that may be caught in your hair. Um, I want you to know that as I am finger detangling my hair, I am also stretching it out as well. Because my hair shrinks a lot, I like to always like tug at it a little bit so that it doesn't shrivel up because when my hair shrivels up, it ends up matting and nodding up and so I just really always try to ensure that my hair is stretched out. Here is the pre-poo treatment I showed you guys earlier. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use it. You just had to take a small portion and put it on your scalp. That's how it works. You want to make sure that this pre-poo treatment is put on your scalp. With my hair stretched out, I began to um, detangle with my Felicia Leatherwood brush. As you can see, I'm detangling from the bottom upwards and I am making sure that my hair is stretched as I'm doing it. If I felt any snags, any tangles as I brushed, I simply put my brush away and remove the tangle with my fingers. So yeah, I, again, I just keep my hair stretched. I tug at it a little bit whilst I brush it and I brush from the bottom upwards. And yeah, this is literally how I always brush my hair. And I do it in smaller sections because if I took a section that was bigger than this, this comb would literally not work with my hair. Um, I find that it works best when my hair is in smaller sections. Do you guys also see how easily the brush is, I keep calling it a comb, the brush is going through my hair? It's because I first finger detangled my hair and so now the brush can easily go in and remove any further tangles or shedded hairs that my fingers couldn't have. So I know some people are visual learners so I'm gonna stop talking now and just allow you guys to watch how I do it in the next part of the video I'm gonna show you guys something so keep watching <music> I'm able to just run my fingers through my hair now you guys cannot tell me that my hair isn't well detangled and well moisturized like look look at my fake curls y'all I did a good job I did that and so I'm gonna need y'all to get into this concoction again it's the Aussie conditioner olive oil and the mint my L oil look at it we have bouncy juicy curls yes 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 
I didn't record this on camera, but when you're done detangling a section, just go ahead and twist your hair up. The reason why you want to do this is to separate um, the detangled hair from the undetangled hair and to also prevent it from like matting back up or tangling back up. So yeah, just twist it up. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that it was helpful. If you do try my concoction, please let me down. Let me know down in the comments comments below thank you again for your support love you guys and see you in my next video bye, -bye.